Welcome, my name is Tim. And in this short video, I'm gonna guide you through the proper process for diagnosing a faulty transformer on the heat pump simulator. Now the transformer is shown right here on the left and it has a primary voltage of 240 volts, which is then stepped down to 24 volts for the system's control circuit. Now we're gonna begin at the thermostat and turn the thermostat to call for heat. You can do this by clicking on the selector switch. This will also turn the temperature up above the room setting. Now always be sure to turn the temperature up at least three, four, five degrees above the room set point so that the second stage of the heat pump will be energized. Next, we're gonna click OK in the procedure guide and we're gonna to proceed to the unit and take a brief inventory of which electrical loads are operational. We're gonna begin by removing the cover here and as we can see, the blower is not running. The indoor blower motor is off, uh, as evidenced by the stationary arrows. So we're going to click No. Next, we're going to go out to the outdoor unit, and we're going to remove the cover. When we do this, we notice that neither the compressor nor the outdoor fan is running. So after clicking OK in the procedure guide, we're going to click No, that the outdoor fan motor is not running, and No, that the compressor is not running. Now what this means is that all three of our primary loads are inoperative. Now this most likely means we either have a line voltage problem coming into the indoor unit or possibly we have a faulty transformer or a faulty thermostat. Let's look at that a little further. If I take out the wiring diagram, we can see that all of these relay coils responsible for turning on the outdoor fan and compressor as well as the indoor fan are all served off of the thermostat. And of course the thermostat's 24 volt supply voltage is supplied by the transformer. And the transformer su is supplied with 240 volts. So again, we either have a line voltage problem here coming in, possibly a faulty transformer or a faulty thermostat. So we're gonna store the wiring diagram and we're gonna start our troubleshooting here. So our next step is to remove the control panel from the unit, which I've already done here for you. And we're gonna measure for 240 volts at the primary side of the transformer. Now what this will do, it'll verify that we have line voltage reaching the transformer. So we're gonna drop each of our meter leads on the primary connections of the transformer. And when we do this, we do have 240 volts. So we don't have a line voltage problem here. Our next step is to check to see that the transformer is providing 24 volts at its secondary connections. So after clicking yes on the procedure guide that we verified 240 volts, we're gonna move our meter leads over to the secondary side of the transformer and see if we in fact have 24 volts. And as we can see, we have zero volts. Now this indicates a transformer problem. Now I always suggest that you actually do a resistance check of each coil in the transformer. Just in the event that the secondary coil is open, uh, sometimes a short, in one of those low voltage relay coils or low voltage loads can cause an overload condition and could possibly burn the transformer winding open and replacing the transformer without doing that well you're going to end up with the same result the new transformer is going to burn open as soon as you turn the power back on but at this point we're going to assume we did this and we have a faulty transformer so we're going to click no in the procedure guide and we're just going to inspect for some loose connections first. Make sure all the connections are secure at both the transformer as well as this low voltage terminal strip down here at the bottom. And all connections do, in fact, appear to be secure. So there's no loose wires. Our next step is to replace the transformer. So we're going to click on it and replace it. But remember, before you do this, shut the power off. So click Replace on the menu. This will replace the transformer and solve our problem. Now we're gonna to need to turn the power back on and again, observe one full cycle of operation to make sure all loads are functioning properly. I would also pull the filter and check it for cleanliness and replace if necessary. Again, this gives a little added value to the homeowner. So after we replace the transformer, we're gonna click OK. And last but not least, we're gonna to go to the residence and make sure that heat is being received. And we can see as evidenced by this red graphic from this floor register that we do in fact have heat reaching the space. Now, if there's any confusion on any of the steps that we just took in this process, click this top left icon and you can review each of the steps in this troubleshooting process. Good luck on all your future service calls and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. Do you want to try 3D simulations and VR HVAC training yourself? 
then visit interplaylearning.com to start a free trial today.